Hi, welcome to my vlog. Today is Friday, April 6th, and I'm headed to Philadelphia. And every month there's a special event called First Fridays in Philadelphia. I've never been, so I'm excited to check it out. So this is the back of the Painted Bride, and I'm parked down over there. Um, when I was driving in, I thought to myself, it's so cute and so old, and then it was the old city. So um, let's go check out what's happening at the Painted Bride. It's kind of a totally amazing um, mosaic. I've never actually seen a mosaic like this on a flat surface. I've, I've seen Gaudi's mosaics in um, Barcelona, but this is amazing. Painted Bride Art Center, and let's go in. Here we go. Let's check it out. This is Winged Woman, the art of Arlene Love and Contemporary Parallels. Arlene Love is a founding feminist artist who um, inspired and has a lineage connection to a lot of other female artists or artists working um, with sort of female issues, sexuality, body, and experiences of the human condition. So this show is really a celebration of her work and the work of other artists that um, are seen kind of in artistic dialogue with her work. The smaller paintings are by Lauren Rinaldi. Um, upstairs, you'll see in a moment, there are photographs by Maria Müller. And then Shana Kraft has these large charcoal drawings. Arlene Love is known for being able to go between 2D and 3D media, like these sculptures, and for inspiring other artists. Okay, so here, this is the second floor, and um, there's a few, there's two different artists showing. Um, we have Arlene Love, who has photographs and sculptures, and then this is a series, um, all sort of, um, protest images taken from social media and I imagine um, taken directly. And this is Maria Merle. Um, there you go, interesting. It's interesting to note the small scale of these printed images that exist sort of as analog objects and in simultaneous form. This show is work by Andrea Calderiz, Nancy Halbert, and Sutton Hayes. Okay, here's Vox Populi, third floor. Let's check it out. Here we go. Maria de Mao, history and RGB. Okay. <gasps> oh my god! Maria de Mao. And this is her show. History in RGB. So these are digital prints that you have pushed through like digital processes. Yes. So uh, I don't know if you want me to say, but well, however you want to introduce them. So they're us. Um, they're prints, photographs, and mm -hmm. uh, various images that are collaged and stripped of color, and I've reassigned the colors to uh, different parts of the images. So they're uh, images that sometimes appear and become abstract depending on the color filters. Oh, here we go. That's what, ooh, I that see. That you look through. Oh, very because cool. Because the uh, colors is based on 16 colors mm -hmm. from the tropical Pantone palettes. Oh, interesting. And I've just re re rearranged them differently. Oh, wow. And depending on, uh, I, I rearranged them to according to red, green, and blue. And I've oh. used them as a, a reassignment of a different value system for every image. So you can experience the same image multiple times through the different filters. Exactly. So there's multiple narratives right. within one plane. Oh, wow. And then what about this central like installation of tropical plants the tropical and the lights? plants, I wanted to create a jungle feel, even though they're potted. And I like that the, that the glow light, grow lights are actually red and blue and then mm -hmm. the green is from the verdant oh, plants. So you're getting a sculptural translation of your... Of the red, green, and blue. Yeah. Exactly, and they're you know, dependent on the red and blue. 
So they're on all the time. They're, they turn off for like 10 hours in okay. the middle of the night, but they're on all the time. Which I was going to actually have them turn on when no one's here, but then I actually liked how it was. So here is this piece through a red filter. Oh, very interesting. And here it is without the red filter. And so you can see how each of these works could really change dramatically. And this kind of durational revisiting historical images and then as Maria was talking about the kind of growth structure that's inherent in um, the installation. And there's a whole bunch of other um... Look, there's Peter Allen Hoffman. <laughs> Our company. This is by Mark Stockton. And this is Appeal to Reason. And these are um, mounted watercolor paintings of like key sort of political cultural moments and book covers. Not we did. We did like a little. And then it looks like it's a. Um, crossword puzzle with different texts. Really interesting. And there's Peter again. Are we in the way? No, 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 no. Installation was by Chad States La Viola. The show that's up right now is Shana Ke or Sena Quesana Lucia Garcon. Altered furniture, and video, and sculptures, towel jacket, dripping, and plywood, everyday objects, sculptures. Now, on the second floor of 319 North 11th, we're going to go check out some more. This is a solo show by Joey Brovica called Nothing Ever Happens on My Block, and it's a series of paintings and some digital video. It's a unique take on pop culture. Here we go, Sisyphus Ava Hessinger. Yeah, I haven't seen Andre in years. And this is Napoleon. Yeah. yeah. Watching screens of belly buttons. Such a good documentary. <laughs> I try a little bit here yeah. and there. Interesting. Kind of feels like a, a Sisyphus mountain of technology and communication. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Very interesting. I like that Four it's. Four old Sisyphus. The only job you could get. Are you the artist? I am. Hi. <laughs> hey, Ava. Very cool. Thank Very you. visceral. And what about the, uh, oh, belly gazing, belly button gazing. Navel gazing, Navel yes, gazing. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool, very Thank nice you. kind of colloquialisms and um, mythological narratives. This is a two-person show called We Have No President at the exhibition space Marginal Utility. The artists are Leroy Johnson and Sarah McEnany, and you can see that they're using um, political satire, um, sort of altering news images, and just um, sort of this formidable expression of uh, political protest art to challenge Trump. This is at the exhibition space called Practice. This is a solo show by Lucia Alber called Leave Worry Behind. She's exploring femininity, machine, sexuality. She's combining boudoir aesthetics with auto showroom 
and the sexualization of um, sort of auto marketing. This is Grizzly Grizzly. It's a solo show by Tyler Klein, and the exhibition is called The Golgi Apparatus, which is an organelle or a subunit of the cell, and it's a vital part of a cell's survival. And as you can see here, it's really complicated. It feels like biomorphic, a um, little disorienting. It's totally an immersive installation. It's pretty wild um, and disorienting, but also really lively. Here we are at Space 1026. The show is called Nature's Space. Let's go check it out. We're in Space 1026. It's a two-person show called Nature Special, Scott Porcelli and Ash Limes Castellana. They are artists who are looking at sort of patterning and the decorative components of nature, um, sort of whimsy as well, these um, kind of minimal stylistic landscapes with um, elusive um, suggestions of water and sky and flora. Um, but very playful as well, and a lot of patterning, um, as you can see here in this alligator piece. Okay, let's go to back to the um, old city and get the center for art and wood. You can see lovely armchair made out of turf. Great piece. Forest chair. Nice. A lot of trees. It's pretty. Lose oneself in the woods, so to speak, is to realize how trees inspire us in our daily lives and how vital they are to our life going existence and well being. Hello, gallery, Wexler Gallery. Check it out. So inside the Old City Jewish Arts Center is an exhibition called Art Schools Collaboration and it's student work by art students from Pratt Institute and PAFA, the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts. So um, this is a nice showing of some of the work being made by um, art students from both of these institutions in Old City. Can I just say how cute is Philadelphia? I have like a little city crush on Philadelphia. Look at all that. That is the Museum of the American Revolution. And here are some columns. I think they're Corinthian because they're super ornamental. Um, okay. Here I am with Kevin Diaz, better known as Slaughter DK Art on Instagram. And he's showing at Tattooed Mom. <laughs> but we'll go check out his work. So bi-monthly at the Tattooed Mom is a um, showing of artists that is organized by Jerk Productions and it's all work that is kind of um, edgy, punk rock, outsider. This is Kevin Diaz's work or Slaughter DK art and he's looking kind of at horror and dark art and that was him um, and you can see how it kind of goes with the culture and theme of the space and, and it was a really fun night. Okay, so that was Tattooed Mom. Now I am heading back to Brooklyn. 